From the Orange River region and surrounds Northern Cape of South Africa, this one would hail from a, a, a most likely a little town of uh, Kudhouse uh, uh, going towards Witbank side. Um, hematoid ferruginous quartz, uh, a solid formation of quartz, whole lot of little crystals jutting off the main crystals here. Of course, the main focus on this guy would be the lovely red phantom inside these quartzes. And what's pretty interesting here is that we have a tiny, tiny gray, I think on closer magnification, you'll find it specular hematite, little bladed formations of hematite. And uh, uh, to some extent, they've turned red. And this would have been the first generation of the quartz. So most likely you had an original quartz crystal and uh, uh, you had hematite on it, which uh, oxidized, turned red, lost some of its oxygen. Then you had a second generation of quartz across it. And you'll probably find that those little gray flecks would have been part of the solution of the second generation of quartz, which went through. From a display point of view, not a very large piece. Lovely color there, nice red inclusion. And this is what we want from the Orange River quartzes, or the, the little red phantoms, what they are famous for, red to to milder red. Lovely, lovely little guy. So standing flat, we'd look at it like this. Um, from a display point of view, I'd have an angle like this, where you're actually showing off the crystal faces, maybe the red phantom here at this angle. And then, of course, the gray sections over there.